integration, the area under the curve. Once you know how to integrate, it's pretty straightforward to calculate the exact area bounded by a curve and the x-axis. All you need to do is substitute a couple of numbers in and find the difference. Finding the area between a curve and a straight line is slightly more complicated, but in this video we'll take a look at both. Example 1. Find the finite area enclosed by the curve y equals x plus 2, x minus 4 squared, and the x-axis. Step 1. Draw a sketch to identify the region and to determine where the curve meets the x-axis. In this particular question, we can already see that it will cross at minus 2 and touch at 4, because it's already factorised. Step 2. Prepare the curve for integrating. In this case, that means multiplying out the brackets. So I've started with the x minus 4 squared, which gives us x squared minus 8x plus 16. Then I've multiplied that by x plus 2. The 16x and minus 16x will cancel out and leave us with x cubed minus 6x squared plus 32. Step 3. Integrate between the limits of minus 2 and 4. So we get a quarter x to the 4 minus 2x cubed plus 32x. When we stick 4 into that, we get 64 minus 128 plus 128. When we stick minus 2 into that, we get 4 plus 16 take away 64. Put a minus sign in between these two brackets. And the final answer is 64 take away minus 44, which is 108. Example 2. Find the area enclosed by the curve y equals 27 minus x squared plus 6x and the straight line y equals 45 minus 3x. Again, step 1 to draw a sketch. Step 2. Solve the equation simultaneously to find values of x where they intersect. So we've got 27 minus x squared plus 6x equal to 45 minus 3x. Make one side 0 and factorise and we get that x is either 3 or 6. Step 3. Use integration to find the area under the curve. So this time we get 27x minus a third x cubed plus 3x squared. And when we stick in our numbers, 6 and 3, we find that the area under the curve is 99. However, when we look at the graph, we can see that the area enclosed by the curve and the straight line is the area under the curve minus a shape. In this case, it's a trapezium. The formula for a trapezium is a half a plus b h. Uh, when x is 3 y is 36, and when x is 6, y is 27, so they're the parallel sides. The height is 6, take 3, which is 3, so the area of the trapezium is 94.5. So, the area enclosed is the difference between the areas. That's 99, take away 94.5, which is 4.5. The end.